I love any form of transit that moves you from one floor to another, though. That's technology to me. I appreciate that. Like escalators, I love a good escalator, man. You know when you appreciate an escalator? When you come upon a broken one at the mall, where you're like, hey, we'll head Foot Locker and then we'll get a slice of pizza and we can just... <sighs> Here, let's just do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. I'm out of here. <laughs> By the way, when you get on an escalator, do me a favor, just grab the handrail and just stand there. Let life take over, let it raise you from one floor to another. Can't stand the people who still feel the need to walk. <laughs> Same idiots always, it's usually the guy with the Nutribullet full of greens, that guy's, excuse me! <laughs> on the left, excuse me, excuse me! I don't let him buy, I get all big. I'm like, no, nope, not happening, no, <laughs> no. Excuse me? Nope, not happening. <laughs> Big man Pilates time. <laughs> I love those people movers at the airport, but they're so random, that's the only problem. You could be walking with your luggage for like two miles, <laughs> and then out of nowhere, the airport's like, you know what, give him a little strip of like 18 feet right there. <laughs> just 18 feet? Yeah, just 18 feet is plenty. Just give them a false sense of hope before they walk the additional 42 miles into the parking garage. I use them though. I could literally walk by a people mover and be like, oh, they got a people mover, I didn't see that. <laughs> you ever been on the people mover and you realize there's somebody walking outside the people mover at the exact same speed as you? You can't even make eye contact with them. You just <laughs> slowly turn yourself away from them, kind of. This is when I do a lot of my deep thinking, like, what kind of a fat, lazy sea lion are you? You couldn't walk an additional 18 feet? It's 18 feet, man. Come on, you are a manatee, you know that? You sicken me, you sicken me. No more starting New Year's, no more starting money. You're starting now, turn your life around. <laughs> feel so guilty, you turn around, you feel like you owe the guy an excuse. You know, yeah, I'd be walking with you, man, but I just, uh, I just helped a friend move this morning and <laughs> then I ran a 5K, six, a 6K, a bunch of Ks, I'm not sure how many. He's carrying like four bags of luggage, I'm holding like a Wendy's bag, you know? <laughs> I'm not even holding it, I'm resting it on the rail. Just gotta... <laughs> I can't even lift my fat lunch for 18 feet. <laughs> you ever been on the people mover and you realize you're passing a Cinnabon? <laughs> there should be a handbrake or an exit ramp. <laughs> now, if they did their research correctly, they would realize the people on the people mover That is your core Cinnabon audience. <laughs> They're really smart. They'd have every people mover go directly into a Cinnabon. Right, like a filtering in, like a luggage carousel. Fatty's just falling in like, <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh, Cinnabon, yeah, I'll take two. <laughs> Extra icing on both, please, yeah. Love Cinnabon, I should not have it.